Houston. Odysseus has found his new home. We are transmitting, and uh, welcome to the moon. Excitement in outer space as American scientists celebrate a successful and historic moon landing. After a week-long flight, a lunar lander named Odysseus successfully touched down Thursday evening. Mission Control reporting that the craft is upright and transmitting data. It's the first moon landing since the 70s. This latest one made by a private company. Reporter Health Kalb, Heath Kalb from our station in Springfield lays out the significance of this accomplishment. It's been 52 years since America made its way to the moon, and on Thursday evening, a privately built lunar lander made history with a successful moon touchdown. At 6.24 p.m., the robotic spacecraft named Odysseus touched down. I spoke with STEM curator at the Springfield Museum's Kevin Kopchinski about what drives humans to embark on such ventures. Besides the bottom of the oceans, the space is the next frontier. And I think we as humans have this natural urge to know what's there and know what's out there on that frontier. So, I, yeah, I, I'm all for it. I, that's part of who we are, I think, as people. The mission landed here at the south pole of the moon, and that's because that location potentially has water, meaning that location could help sustain life or even provide rocket fuel for future missions. Odysseus specifically targeted a landing site near a crater called Malapert A. It's a region on the moon that's been tantalizing scientists for some time. That's where the place that we're going to likely to set up a base. So the idea that we're starting to get a presence down there, we're starting to explore down there, is we're on our way to starting that base, and that's really cool. The lander is expected to spend about a week collecting data on the moon before the probe loses power. But this mission means a lot more than just a week's worth of data. And that was Heath Kalb reporting. This mission was part of a NASA program in which the space agency set up to support development of moon landers by private sector companies. NASA eventually plans to hire these companies to transport cargo to the lunar surface as part of its broader ambitions to return astronauts to the moon.